Nagbigay ng opinyon at mensahe ang ating first Pinay Miss Earth winner na si Carla Henry matapos ang controversial YouTube live discussion ng grupong Ashley's Nights. Sa kanilang YouTube live, pinag-usapan ng grupo ang ilan sa mga Miss Universe Philippines 2021 candidates at nagbigay din ng comments at criticism sa ilang kandidata ng hindi nagustuhan ng karamihan sa mga netizens. At narito ang in-upload na video ni Carla Henry patungkol sa controversial Ashtis video uh, sa kanyang Instagram. Sorry, medyo haggard ako. Well, um, these days, it's a domesticated life for me. So, wala akong pakilang sa magsasabi na mukha kong haggard at mukha kong masyonda na I don't really care. Um, may mga ibang araw na maganda ako. May ibang araw na haggard ako. I take it what it is. I'm 35 years old. <laughs> diba? So anyways, um, I wanted to talk to you guys about this thing that's been really annoying me and really nakaka-inis na talaga kasi it's such a toxic culture to have. I was just talking to a friend of mine Um, si Evet and I w- she was saying na nakakamis yung time na labanan namin na hindi pa ganito ang craziness ng labanan, ba? Diba? Na hindi pa ganito yung yung environment of negativity and and toxic attitude. Um, and I was telling her, oh, kasi noon yung time namin hanggang misisology lang yung mga feeling critic, hanggang dun lang yung mga super feeling nila, yung opinion nila ang tama, ba? Diba? Um, Sa masasabi ko lang doon, sana naman mag- maisip ng mga tao na yung mga nagla-live-live or yung mga nag- nag-comment publicly talaga na nagigus- nagiging viral or whatever, naisipin nila, there's a difference between being a critic and already crossing the line sometimes to bullying. ba diba? Kasi, hindi na siya, ano eh, kasi parang kung hindi mo talaga tinitigilan yung isang kandidata, yung pagtatalak mo talaga, hindi na siya maganda hindi na siya productive. And what we're all trying to achieve is to give ano, diba, the best candidate for the Philippines to compete in any international pageant. So kung magbibigay tayo ng criticism, it should be productive criticism. It should be something that she can work on. Hindi lang yung op- sa opinion natin, wala lang talaga siyang ganda. Sa opinion natin, wala lang talaga siyang ano, diba, um for whatever. Um, magbigay tayo ng suggestions or whatever. Pero isipin din kasi natin na It's really hard for a candidate these days to be competing. It's really hard for a candidate these days to really, you know, try to achieve the level of standard that people seem to have for all of our beauty pageant goers these days. Like, de ba? Na sobrang, you know, it's like, it's like every time that we have won in an international pageant, we have leveled it up so high that we're making it so hard for our future candidates to step it up. So they try and go above and beyond. And then when they try to go above and beyond, we criticize them for being too OA. We criticize them for being too much, too much pasabog, too much this, too much that, ba? Diba? When all the candidate is trying to do is to try to match the kind of standard that critics and pageant fans and everybody is trying to set. So, sana naman intindihin natin yon Sana naman supportahin lang natin yung babae. Maybe if we want to, ano, give criticism, maybe we do it in a way where it's not so hurtful. Kasi siguro naman, she's in the middle of competing right now, di ba? I mean, obviously, everybody knows who I'm talking about. So, we have to realize na parang, it's, it's already a very tough, and this is what I have to tell you guys, ha? Iba ang competition pag national, right? And all of the beauty queens who have ever competed in the national arena can say this. Whether you're Miss World, Miss Philippines, Miss Universe, Miss International, kahit ano yan, iba, ibang iba ang level of mental strain, stress ang natatanggap mo pag nagko-compete ka ng national and even more so when you're competing internationally. So when you're already there in the middle of competing and to hear that everything you have worked for and you're trying to do and you're trying to get people to know you and everything, binabash lang na binabash. Anong point nun? ba? Diba? Are we really helping the girl or are we just trying to be vocally opinionated for with no possible good outcome? So sana naman anuhin natin, isipin muna natin what we think and what we type. I know that's hard because marami naman talagang trolls on the internet. Pero when you start kasi being in a position where you're put in 
uh, a more public with a lot more viewers, your opinions start to really matter. Your opinions start to really be heard. And so that's when you really have to be careful about what you say about another candidate, especially someone as hardworking as Steffi, someone who has really worked for years and years and years to try and be the best candidate possible and to really give us, to represent Cebu with everything that she's got. And then maybe to some others, it's not reflecting that they want it to be, but it doesn't mean that you have to say she has no oomph, that she's OA. You know, like you, when you start using words like that, it's no longer just plain criticism. It's it's somewhat bullying. You're you're being hurtful na eh. Diba? So, like I said, just be careful lang naman. And realize that this girl is really just trying to do her best. And right now, iba ang level of competition. Iba ang level ng ang utak ng mga girls ngayon sa... In, in Miss World, in Miss Universe, Philippines. Their mindset is being strained every day kasi iba iba ang natatanggap nilang information iba't iba ang mga na ano nila na na feel nila they're on an emo, on an emotional roller coaster so please lang let's you know not push them over the edge let's not make them lose it i mean if anything how rabia felt last year was a clear example of what our words can do to somebody who's, who's already in a fragile state because you're giving it all. You're physically tired. You're you're emotionally tired. You're mentally tired, and then you have to hear pop for these people's like you know these people's opinions or critics or whatever, de ba? So let's be careful, lang. And I'm sorry, nag kunagrant na ako dito, but you know I get very sensitive because when I see somebody who's worked as hard as Steffi get attacked and bullied the way that she has been um, the last couple days, so. Um, yeah, you know, for those, I we're not. By the way, don't get me wrong. How we're not asking the man, or we're not saying that. Just say nice things. Always nice things about Steffi. Hindi naman. So, may ano naman kayo? So, I'm sure may you don't think maybe this outfit is nice or whatever. But like I said, choose your words. Choose how it's said, especially when you're on a very influential platform. In lang. So, hi to everybody who's joined me. Um, Thank you to everyone also who's supporting all of my Cebu candidates. Um, not mine. They're not my girls, by the way. They're trained by different people. But I'm just saying that because they're Cebuanas, I'm supporting them as well. So go to Steffi, go to Bea, go to Shaila in Miss World, um, and go to Megan Campbell as well. So to my fellow Cebuanas, go girls. Kayang kaya nyo yan. Aja represents Cebu well. So hello. Hi, Cassie. Hi. I hope to see you soon, Cass. Hi, Chot. Hi, Kapatid. Hi, Nako. It's very hard talaga. Um, yeah, so if you guys have any questions, we can tackle it right now. Unsay masulti ni mo ni Billy Hackinson te binash niya yung mga frontrunners. Sincha si Billy Hackinson. I'm sorry, I don't know who Billy Hackinson is. Um, I'm not familiar with what he did with Binabash, among our friend brothers. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of bashers. I'm not a big fan of people who criticize with no end game. Like, there should be at least constructive criticism, diba? Right? It should be at least something to help the girl, not just to make her feel like crap. And who are these people who try to mock Steffi down? They're not even title holders. Critic lang para may comment. Just my two cents. Honestly, hindi ko din kilala. I mean, I know one. But I, I didn't know the others. And it's very easy to give your opinions and to criticize when you're in a position that's never had to go through it. When you've never had to compete nationally, more, more so internationally, or you've never had to really put in the blood, sweat, and tears to train a girl, it's easy for you to say this, I kailangan this, I kailangan that. When you don't know the girl, when you don't know what she's capable of, what her strengths and weaknesses are, madaling mag criticize. But sometimes you have to trust the process that, that the people that surround her have been in this industry that she has chosen she herself that girl herself whether it's Steffi or it's Bea or whoever it is she herself has chosen a team 
that she's smart enough to know is going to help lift her up. It's going to help her do well. So, isipin na lang natin na they, they know what they're doing. Maybe they're tr- experimenting. Sometimes, maybe they're not. But, huwag naman bash agad, di ba? Parang, hindi naman pwede perfect palagi ang kandidata. Not even the the most beautiful, the most uh, no, revered beauty queen in all of history was perfect every single time. Big deal ka ayon nila nga daghan ug pasabog si Steffi. Ano ba kung daghan pasabog? Dari, di ba? It's a minefield. You know, that's how competing is. Kadaghan, d- d- dapat daghan siya kag bomba dai. Pasabog siya ka left and right. Di ba? Like I said, it's damned if you do, damned if you don't. If Steffi came in with no pasabog or barely any, they would say, oh, less effort, hindi man lang nag-effort pag Miss Universe. It, there, people are always gonna have something to say. Kaya nga na parang nakakaawa nga talaga yung mga girls eh. It's not just Steffi. It's a lot of the other, you know, Miss Universe candidates and Miss World candidates and Miss Philippines candidates and binibining Pilipinas candidates. It's, all of them. Marami talaga mga gustong makialam. Hindi nga kilala yung babae. Hindi nga kilala kung yung mga trainers niya. Hindi nga kilala ang process. Tapos nakikialam na. Especially sa mga damit. Especially sa mga pasabog. ba? Hindi ko din naiintindihan. Bakit nagre-reklamo about sa pasabog? Pero in the end, top two nyo pa rin. So meaning, yung mga pasabog niya, nakaka-attract din pala. Nakakagusto din. ba? I'm just saying... Hi, Mel. My cat is doing okay. He's going to the vet again on Friday. Well, he's not doing okay, but he has to get laser. I'll call you later. So, ab ab mother earth jud ay. Sorry, Chris Hanson. You know me. Mamalit biya jud ko, de ba? Mung shopping biya jud ko. Pwede ba ka mo join diri day? Pwede ta kay join. Mga ihas biya ta. Di biya ta kay bow ko na ba tay pwede ma join diri. Pwede ba mag-double? Hi, Yvette. Kakausap pa lang natin, di ba? Nag-chumika na agad ako dito. Nag-live na agad ako. Di ba? Threaten na sila na ano, ni Steffi. Maybe. Or maybe bored lang talaga sila. Pila ka bagahing pasabog ba ang ikansogbo? Um, murag, usadyod ka barko ang iyang gida. Diba? Kadang usa ka to go. Gida, Gipadania sa Manila. Ninapagyod ka ng cargo via PAL or Cebu Pak. We are all inspired to empower women. But what they did was totally the other way around. If their best can't step up their game, then it's not Steffi's problem if siya lang nagshine. That's so true. Hindi natin pwede, diba? Like I said, if Steffi did not do all of this, they would have said, oh, underprepared, ulang pa kayalam, diba? You know, it's, again, criticism that's not productive is just useless. I am very excited to see the napkos of of I know of Miss Universe Philippines. It's always one of my favorite segments because I get to really see the the designers' different perspectives of what each places in the Philippines will be. I know will be represented through fashion, diba? Excited din ako kung sino yung na- mga napkos dadalhin nila Bea ni Steffi. Asan ka ni Cress? Unsa ang pag-invite? Pwede ba mo invite di rin? Oy, pwede di ay. Ato ipa-invite si Cress. Kay Mur- or ba si nag-Korea na po ni? Nag-Korea na po ka dahi? Right, ha? Gusto ba kayo niya siya mag-samgyop? Samgyop, samgyop. Nya, 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 nya. Oh, Jima Franca, hi. Uy, thank you, Kaayo. Sars PJ. You know, I'm, I know, they can never put Cebuana down. Halatang threaten sila because for a fact that they're waiting for stepping a mulugo on national pageant. It may be, it may, I won't say that they're threatened, but I also won't say that they're not. Hindi ko naman sila kilala para sabihin if they're threatened or not, diba? Um, I'm just saying that, you know, just to be careful with the 
with the mindset of these ladies. Hindi madali mag-compete. So, wag dapat agad-agad mag-bash, di ba? It's very toxic na kasi in this industry. It's, it's very, very toxic na. I mean, you would think that we would all be very supportive of, of any candidate whatsoever. Whether you are ACES or you are KF or you are independent or you are any other beauty camp or whatever, wherever you come from, you would think kasi na, you know, where we would be supportive of each other. But I guess maybe that's not reality. Hmm? Maybe it's not reality for human for us to expect human nature would be kind and responsible with their words. It's just getting to me. I was just getting really annoyed and, and I'm sorry that I'm going at 7.30 at night like on a rant about this, but on a random Wednesday. But yeah, I just... I guess it really hurt, um, strikes a chord with me because when I was, I know, and I, the whole year I was competing from Binibini to Miss Philippines to Miss Earth, and even after, especially when I got fat, diba? when I gained a lot of weight after I had won, I received so much and you know negativity and just so much um, pressure and stress, and I, I'm. I think I was. Um, I think I, I am a little bit stronger than some of in terms of that because I, I somewhat didn't care as much. I guess like I was like whatever I won. So bahala kayo to magreklamo kayo kung mataba ako or hindi, neba. Parang I came to do what I did. I, I did my job, and I'm, and I was okay. I mean, did I not wish that I had gotten fat? Yeah, I wish I I stayed the weight that I was in when I was competing, but at the same time, I'm a, I, I'm a girl who likes to eat, and unfortunately, you know, I just, it happened to me, but it doesn't mean I was any less of a beauty queen in terms of doing my job, in terms of doing my responsibility, but like I said, maybe my mentality is different from all these girls, so I can sympathize when, when they have to hear all of this negativity, all these toxic, you know, comments of, about them just competing, parang, it's, it's, Hindi natin alam if that woman can take it, and we all have limitations. And what we're doing is we're just bombarding them with this kind of negativity. And when it's a time for them to be focusing on their competition, it's a time for them to be giving and showing us the best that they can do. Um, so it's I know um, for me it's a little I guess triggering when I see that that girls sometimes and it's not just again like I said it's not just with Steffi I've seen it happen in the, with the girls with friends of mine in Miss World I've seen it happen with the girls in Miss Philippines Earth like it's just really it's high time high time that us Filipinos please stop with this toxic energy and negative energy that we are showing the ladies and if we are really here to support, if we really want the best candidate to represent us in the international pageant, we have to show them the kind of support they deserve. We're not saying naman na just tell them everything they want to hear. We're not looking for hype people. But sometimes kasi the opinions are no longer just opinions. They're just bashing. Diba? So... Ano naman, let's just be careful with our words. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm trying to reiterate. I'm not trying to take away your freedom of right or freedom of choice to type or say whatever. I'm just asking you guys to just be careful with the words that you release in public. And because you never know who reads them, you never know if the candidate that's targeted for will read them or will see them or will hear them. And you never know what kind of effect that will have. So please, just... Be careful with your words. That's all I'm asking. Gabriel, katotok na tayo sa usual na supporters sa din na yung mga bashers. Basig na yung mga nag-screen record na ng live ng Queen. Mabash niya akas mga Aces and Queens fans kina suya man sila. I really, like, you know, I'm so used to being bashed. I am so used to people just saying that, I mean, honestly, if yung mga comments lang nila, if the only bad thing they can tell about me is that I'm, um, what do you call this? I got fat or I'm haggard or whatever. I'm lumana, laos na, whatever. I am happy because that means that 
I really didn't do that much, many things wrong in my life, de ba? Wala naman ako masadong, hindi naman ako demonita, hindi naman ako lakong ginawang masadong sama, de ba? Um, and by the way, I will also clarify, ha? I am not perfect. I have had my share of shortcomings, so that's why I'm also not a big fan of this toxic cancel culture. So for those who are the critics and who are getting so-called ch- ch- canceled. I'm not a big fan of that, and I'm not a supporter of that as well. People are able to make a mistake if they want to. Um, they don't need to be persecuted for it forever, diba? So wag lang natin isipen. I I have had my fair share of wrongdoings or wrong moments in my life, and some of them I've apologized for it. Most of them I've apologized for it, but um, other times I stand my ground because when I think I'm right. So yeah. Um, it's ano lang. We just try to take accountability and responsibility for as much as we can. So, yeah, that's it. If my mom has screen recording dito and you want to show it to another camp, go right ahead because honestly, I love my KF camp. But I'm also just a big and avid supporter of the girls who will represent our country the best. So, whoever is deserving to win the crown and whoever can represent our country to the very best i will always support whether whatever camp you belong to and my camp my beloved tito rogel and everybody in my my kf camp knows that and knows that i can be fair and i'm not just about the division between those those two different those two camps so bahala na what they say sanay na ako dyan it's not it's not new news to me it's just old news. So, Kibber. Palat na sila. Anyways, thanks for listening to this little rant. And, yeah. Again, I leave you guys with parting words. Thank you for all the support of, for those who are giving their support to both Steffi and Bea um, from our Cebu, beloved province and city of Cebu. Daghang salamat chud kaayo to everybody who has just been so very supportive of those two ladies. And, Thank you also to the fans that are trying to remove the toxic and, and negative energy in this industry um, for calling out those people who wish to spread that kind of vibes in this industry instead of positivity, instead of, of um, good criticism, right? So anyways, leaving you with the last words of be responsible with your words take accountability and if it's, if it's something that you want to put out there in social media then you make sure that those are the words that you will stand by and that you really truly believe in but you're not hurting anybody else so bye guys have a good wednesday night